Hey guys, it's GTSS back with another video, and this video I'll be reviewing and just sort of tutorialing, just really basically, uh, HitFilm 3 Express. Now, uh, HitFilm 3 Express and the whole HitFilm series um, <clears throat> is a series of video editors and compositing, um, which is pretty much like Adobe After Effects and Premiere in one program, and they're uh, like non-free version is HitFilm 3 Pro, and it's about 300 bucks. but I wanted to go over HitFilm 3 Express, which is free, and is actually an incredibly powerful video editor and compositor for completely free. Um, now, I used to use VSDC, and I made a review about that about a, on that about a year ago, but this, I think, is better in every single way. So I'm going to be going over the basics here and just showing you guys the program. If you have any questions on how to use them, you can leave them in the comments and I will try to answer every single one of them. So to create a new project, you go ahead and click on this new icon, uh, new button once you open up the program. <clears throat> and that pretty much will open up this project settings. Uh, I always choose 1080p full HD because HD, I mean duh. Uh, the other ones you can leave the same and you can either start compositing or editing. Uh, first we're going to go ahead and do editing because I think I can teach... I think I can talk about compositing easier when we've already done some editing. So here's the editing uh, part. So <clears throat> for you guys, uh, effects will be down here. So let me just put that down here. So you're going to have a trimmer, and then you're going to have different tabs in the bottom left. You're going to have media, effects, controls, history, text, and that's pretty much it. Um, <clears throat> and so in the media, of course, you can import files that you may have. Uh, that those are going to be the video files that you work with. So, for example, I can go ahead and uh, use an introduction, and then go ahead and use an, uh, an outro. And then you can also add in, let's say, a video file you may have, or a picture, or something like that. Uh, let's say one of these PNGs. So, when you have this, this is your media. And you can also actually create media, which I'll get into a little bit later because it is compositing. So then you can just drag and drop onto the timeline editor itself. And here, up here in the top right in the viewer, is your actual viewer. Um, <clears throat> so let's say I want to put this intro in. And it's going to ask you if the dimensions aren't the same, but you can always right-click and then transform it to fit to frame if your dimensions aren't exactly correct. And you can put in your picture and then you can of course always drag to change the length and the snapping is very very good for example if I put this here and I want to drag it all the way I can perfectly snap it you also have your audio down here which you can unlink but you pretty much always keep it linked now uh, the little slider in the middle of each media file controls the brightness so I can do I can just slide this down make it darker and make it brighter and the slider on the volume control the audio controls the volume as you may guess. And you can, of course, uh, slide across uh, videos and audio, and it will try playing it, like scrubbing. Uh, now, I have a i3 6 gigs of RAM, and I'm editing 1080p footage, and this works pretty good for the most part. Uh, some edits get really tricky with compositing, but for the most part, uh, everything's pretty smooth. And if you have a stronger machine, which you probably do, then HitFilm will work perfectly fine with it. And uh, you can always, of course, just click play or uh, click pause right here in the menu part here, the controls. <clears throat> and if, once you're done, you can go ahead and click export, and that will give you the option to export. And you can export to YouTube directly, H.264, which is what I recommend because it compresses it, it's the encoder. An image sequence, which I don't know why you would do it, or an AVI, which I tried, but it's, as you can see here, uncompressed. And the other codecs actually shrink the dimensions, and your file size is going to be in the gigabytes, and it just sucks. So H2SO, H2S4 is definitely the way to go in terms of exporting. <clears throat> but going back to our editing tab here, <clears throat> there are other things you can do here. Of course, you have an effects tab, so you can a ton of effects. The, even the free version has a ton of effects. There are plugins for this program. There is so much you can do. It is designed very similar to Premiere Pro and After Effects, but it's in it's one program, so it is very coherent coherently put together. So you have a bunch of effects, audio effects, blurs, it's all over the place here really. Um, but the ones I use are of course the transitions and you can always do a fade to color or dissolve which is pretty much like a fade. Uh, and you can always put it right here. Now obviously you can't see much here but you can actually trust that it's going to be put, put in the right place because of the snapping. Now you can zoom in uh, by... 
Where's the zoom in? Oh, you can zoom in down here. Uh, you can go ahead and zoom in. Now, I actually always zoom in with my mouse, but I don't have my mouse with me. But, of course, trackpad also works. But who uses a trackpad for video editing? Um, but as you can see here, once I add that, once I zoom in, I can see that it, it uh, is placed correctly. And then I can always just go ahead and see that it is a nice transition. And there are tons of effects just like that. The Pro version for $2.99 has a crazy amount of effects. It has, like, gunfire and all sorts of crazy things uh, that I personally will not be using. Uh, but even the free version has a lot of stuff. You can do color correction um, with color wheels and stuff. It is just... It's all over the place, really. And that's the that's the editing. Of course, you can do non-linear stuff. So if I really want to, I can go ahead and change the dimensions of this. Now, here is where my computer starts to freak out a little bit. Uh, but I can change dimensions and put this in the corner and do other stuff in the background. Uh, so that's the editor. Uh, over here in the, in the right, the bottom right, you have your audio here. So you can check to see if your levels are the same. Uh, you got your basic tools over here next to the editor timeline. You've got your splice to cut things and etc. But I did want to also mention the compositor because it is incredibly powerful. So let us go ahead and take a look. Now there are two ways you can actually... There are many ways to get to the compositor. Um, but I think the best way, the easiest way is if you're already in editing, you can actually just go to media and then instead of clicking import, you can actually click on new. And this will allow you to make your own composite shot like this. Now, here you can actually just title it whatever. I n Numerically is probably the way to go. And you're going to get a new tab right next to the editor. So here's your video. Here's your composite shot. It's completely blank. So here you can also add media. You can add planes, text, grades, which are like rectangles. Um, you can actually add in your intro into this. So again, you can do the same type of stuff you did in the editor, in the compositor. Um, dimension no uh, but you can also do 3d stuff and that's just a lot of complicated stuff so I will not obviously be able to go over all of that but I'll try to get the basics out of the way so here you can put in a bunch of different layers so like blue outro uh, you put in everything and as you can see right here I've got like a little sh compositing shot here composition shot and you can change stuff you can actually add a bunch of effects in you can do color correction here and what a compositor is you can also animate with this and animating gets a little you know out of control uh, but there's a lot of stuff you can change here it is just crazy um, it it's weird so once you make a shot the way you animate you can also obviously make a second shot and then sort of show a transition uh, once you put in a video, it's obviously moving around. Um, there are just insane amounts of things that you can do here. But what I use it most for, in terms of video, in, from a video editing standpoint, is to add text to video. So what you can do is you can actually click the text tool right here. Just go ahead, uh, give it some dimensions, and then start typing. And in the uh, tabs in the bottom left, you can actually go to text and start editing your text here. If you just highlight it and go ahead and select some random font and then make it big. As you can see, you can make some text. And once you have this text, you can go ahead back to your editor, your video, and go back to media. And it will, by default, have the shot right here. Then you can just drag the shot, put it down here, and we're not going to be seeing it right now because it's on top of... It's underneath the outro. But if I move it, there it is. So what I can do, I can add some transitions... The, the effects to this as well. And I can do some pretty awesome things when you can use the composition stuff with the actual video editor. Now, I'm obviously learning the software myself, but these are the basics. I think if you know the basics, what I just said, uh, you can do a lot of crazy and a lot of nice things with this video editor. Uh, 1080p, exporting, all that stuff. Um, it's just a really, really powerful video editor in comp compositor, but what's even more awesome is that it's free and it's really easy to use it's it's just not it doesn't glitch it, it hasn't froze or um it hasn't crashed on me even a single time and just the snapping makes things really easy i can literally just drag an effect to a clip and not even think twice about it because i know it's going to the right place and that's something vsdc doesn't offer um i'll have my vsdc review linked below but it's a terrible video it's really old um but this is, I think, better. Uh, it's just easy to use. Productivity goes up. It's quick. And, of course, the exporting is when you're done. You can go ahead and export your video 
and um, they look nice. My past three or four videos have been exported using HitFilm 3, and since it is such a nice product, I thought I'd show it to you guys. Uh, but that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you learned something. If you did and you want to see more co content like this, be sure to give me a like and subscribe. I will see you in the next video, and thank you for watching.